What is up guys and gals, Rekabilly here. Today I'd like to show you all how to use the replace item command that came out in 14w26c. This is for 1.8 snapshots and above. Uh, please, this will not work in 1.7. Just letting you guys know that right now. Um, so what is this? The replace item command, basically it can fill in or replace items of an inventory slot either on an entity or uh, a block. So any block that can hold inventory slots like a chest or a furnace or anything like that, you can replace the item and fill it in with whatever you want basically. Um, you can do this with zombies, with players, um, you can do this with whatever you want basically. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the basic command. It's just this simple, slash replace item and then you decide whether you want to do the entity or the block and then you have to fill in the according command afterwards which I will show you how to do in just a second. Um, let's go ahead and start with this guy over here. We have a regular old zombie. Hello Bob. His name's Bob. Um, basically this guy he is he's, go he's going to battle. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna be in a battle and he needs to get suited up basically so we have a set of command blocks here, which are going to suit him up and equip him. So there we go, Bob now has black leather armor, diamond helmet, iron leggings, leather boots, and a wooden sword. He is all ready for battle. That wooden sword, I don't know if that's going to handle against- yes! So what's going on here? Well, it's pretty simple, we are using the replace item command and I want to show you guys how this all works. So I'll go through this together and every command is essentially the same. Um, you can do anything you want and replace any of the items with whatever item you want. <clears throat> so replace item, this time we are doing an entity that is because we are changing the inventory of Bob. So we select at E which is the entity whose name equals Bob. So since we gave um, the zombie a custom name of Bob it's only going to affect him then we decide what slot we want to change this or what slot we want to insert or replace the item of so we have slot dot weapon and that is obviously his sword and we put minecraft colon wooden underscore sword so this gives him a wooden sword we can change this to uh, iron sword and he will be looted with an iron sword. You can see that, pretty simple. Um, now the other thing that we have is the armor slots. So you can change the slot.armor.feet and give him leather boots. We can change this to golden if we wanted to. Golden. <laughs> golden, there we go. And when he steps off of it, let me just push him off so I can you guys so he has leather boots right now we step on it now he has golden boots so it can actually replace items he, it doesn't need to be empty it can replace any item you want it to now this one we have the armor head we have the diamond helmet you can actually change this if you wanted the head slot to be a block now this is pretty fun let's go in and do an iron block now this guy he's gonna be well suited out bam iron block on his head <laughs> very cool stuff and then of course we have the chest plate um, and then I just gave it a damage value of 1 1 whatever uh, display color equals 0 and the color you can change this to any color you want I will be doing a separate tutorial on how to do colors in Minecraft and how to do the get basically any color you want um, for but that's a later video you can change this color to let's just do a random number let's do that and see what color we get. And we got bright green. Pretty cool. So, yeah, you can change the chest plate to anything you want. The legs, the pants, the head, and the, uh, the sword. Very cool stuff. As mentioned before, you can actually do this with players as well. See? And I got the wool block on my head with the color of black, which I believe is 13. And you can change this to anything you want. If you're in F... Um, if you're in regular uh, view mode, it does not block your vision. 
And yet, yes, you do have the wool block in your inventory slot for your helmet. You can actually take this off, but you cannot put it back on. So if you want it to stay there, you gotta make sure not to take it out of there. <laughs> and the way that works is very similar. Um, boots, chest plate, um, leggings, helmets, it's all the same. You, you instead doing entity at E, you are changing the at E to just at P, or the name of the player that you want to give it to. You can also do at A or at R for random player. Any one of the selectors, it's completely up to you whatever you want to do. So how do we change the inventory of chests? Uh, basically, we have instead of um, the replace item entity, we are using replace item block. And after you use block, you need to have a coordinate. So this, this is the coordinate of this chest right here and then you decide what slot container number you want to give the item into so slot container 13 and we're putting a diamond in there so right now there's a diamond already but I'm gonna take that out um, so it's empty if we press this button it now has another diamond in there and you can change the slot to let's say 0 and that will be this first slot here you can change the item to be anything you want, feather, <laughs> and now there's a feather in here. Pretty cool stuff, very useful for map makers. Now for the ender chest. This one is a bit interesting. Um, technically, this is a block and it is placed here, 33820. However, we are not using replace item entity with the or I'm sorry replace item block like we did here with the chest we are actually doing entity so we want to change the entity slot for the player so at p at a wreckability any name of the player whatever um, we want to change the slot of their ender chest we can change 13 minecraft diamond swords so right now there's nothing in here and now we have a diamond sword in here and the cool thing is, because this is an ender chest, all of them are going to have it. And if we replace it with, instead of a diamond sword, let's say, I don't know, ender pearl? I think that can be one. You'll see that all of them have the ender pearl because it's an ender chest. It's not a specific block. You can place it down and pick up another ender pearl. Um, and then of course, if you remove it, it also removes from this one, so keep that in mind. Um, ender chests, you're, you're changing the player's ender chest, not the chest itself. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you found this very useful, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, peace out.